Hey everyone. So in this episode, we're going to be taking that Natalia metahuman model that we created in episode six and getting it set up and running with our Rococo mocap. Because Natalia is a metahuman, we will be working in Unreal. And the most stable version of Unreal for this workflow is currently 4.26. So we'll be using that. We do have workflows for 4.27 and 5, but they're not quite as stable. So we're going to focus on 4.26. If you do want those plugins, however, you can find them in the description below. Below. So before we get started, you'll need to download the Rococo plugin, which for 4.26 you can find on the marketplace. Links to our GitHub with the 4.27 and even the UE5 versions are in the description below. But again, the 4.26 build is the most reliable for this workflow. So that's what I recommend using, at least for now. Let's create a new project, and the first thing we'll do is add our Rococo Assets folder to the main content folder of our project. You can find the download link to this folder in the description below. Then we'll install our Quixel plugin if it isn't already loaded to your project. In this case, I know it isn't because I don't see a Mega Scans button up here. We'll open up Quixel, go to Export Settings, and then select the location we want our plugin to be installed, which is the same location as our Natalia project file. Once the plugin is installed, we'll jump back to Unreal and enable our Rococo plugin by going to Edit Plugins. You'll be prompted to restart. And when Unreal opens back up, both the Rococo plugin will be enabled and you should see this Mega Scans button now at the top. So now we'll jump into Bridge and we can export Natalia. Unreal will think a bit while it's importing and eventually we'll just hit accept on all these warnings and then restart the project when prompted. So metahumans are pretty beefy in terms of shaders, so when the project opens back up, we'll need to wait for all the shaders to compile. When that's done, we can start prepping our metahuman. To do that, we'll go into the metahuman folder, then the Natalia folder, and then open up the Natalia blueprint. First, we'll select LOD Sync, and make sure the LOD is set to zero, which is the highest quality level of detail. If you want less stress in your machine, you can always set this to a lower level of detail. Negative one is actually an adaptive level of detail that changes based on distance, so you can do that as well. Then we'll hit Compile and Save. Now we need to make some changes to our MetaHumans blueprint, which you can access by selecting the body, and then opening up the mesh, and then going to the blueprint. When we open it up, we're going to be on the event graph. So we want to go and double click on the anim graph. Now we want to add a Rococo body pose node to our blueprint right after the control rig. We'll change the actor name field to the same name as our actor profile in Rococo Studio. In this case, it's Sam, and I'll point this out again when we get to it in Rococo Studio. We'll also add our MetaHuman bone map to the bone map override on the Rococo body pose node. This was one of the bone lists that were included in the Rococo asset folder we imported. Again, you can find the download link for that in the description below. Finally, we need to put our metahuman in a T-pose. So I will enable bones so we can see what's going on. And now if we select the control rig, we should be able to add our metahuman T-pose asset, which is also in that Rococo assets folder. So sometimes this won't load, which means you actually need to go and open up that asset and save it again. Then, if we go back to the blueprint, we can add it to the control rig. When we compile, boom! You can see that our metahuman is now in a T-pose. 
So now we just need to make one change to our MetaHuman head blueprint. If we jump back to our overall Natalia blueprint, we can select her face, open up that mesh, and then go to that head's blueprint. Again, we'll be in the event graph, so we need to go and open the anim graph. Essentially, metahumans have an issue with the AR kit where the lips remain open even if your mouth is closed. To fix this, we'll need to add a modify curve node right after the live link pose node. We'll wire that together, and then we'll right click on the animation pose out, go to add curve pin, and search for mouth shrug lower. We will add it, and then change the value to 5. And then I'll turn off bones just so we can see what's happening. And now when we hit compile, you'll be able to see that the mouth has been adjusted upward slightly. This is going to fix that hanging open mouth issue that you have with the AR kit and metahumans. Now we can go and add our Natalia blueprint to the scene, center her, and we'll jump into Rococo Studio. Okay, so here we are in Rococo Studio. Again, I've already gotten everything all set up with my smart suit, my smart gloves, and my facial motion capture. If you wanna know how I did that, you can go and check out episode three, where we cover all that setup in detail. But because this is all set up, all we need to do now is just enable our Unreal plugin. So we're gonna to go to Start Live Stream, enable Unreal Engine, and as you can see, port 14045 is the port we're gonna be streaming out to. I'm also just going to turn on treadmill mode here under live filters and that way my character can't go anywhere I don't want it to and it will always stay in view of the camera. And the other thing to note is that Sam is the actor name that we're using as I mentioned before when we were setting up the blueprints. So this is that actor profile name you want to input into the Rococo body pose node. So because this is all set up we can jump back into Unreal. And the first thing we're gonna do is add a Rococo receiver to the scene. So you can find it just by typing in REC here and add it into our scene. And once you have, you can see that we have this port number option, which matches what we're streaming uh, out from Rococo Studio, right? 14045. Now, because this is in the scene, we can go to Live Link and add our Rococo Studio source. And when you do, you should see these two uh, options pop up here. Then we're just going to actually select our Natalia blueprint and under live link face subject, add our Sam face. And now essentially all we need to do is hit play and everything should be working. So let's get a camera into a little bit of a better position here. And now what we can also do is just set up a camera and green screen for this character. So I'm gonna end this play mode and I'm going to add a camera to the scene. We'll pilot it, get it into position a little bit. I'm just gonna slow this camera speed down and we can adjust the focus settings. And then I'm going to add a plane to the scene. I'm gonna scale it up, rotate it 90 degrees. Let me bring it in a little bit closer. And then I will also create a new material And if we plug a constant three vector into the base material, we can select this constant and go and find a green color. So this is nice and green screeny here. Okay, save, apply, and we will add this to our plane. So now if we hit play, and then we hit eject, we can actually go and to that camera view, and there we go. So that is how you get your MetaHuman up and running in Unreal Engine.
This project file will be available in the description below, as well as links to five other project files where we've set up metahumans with custom Paragon bodies. Because metahumans are still in alpha, the wardrobe collection is super limited. But it's actually really easy to isolate the metahuman head and just plop it onto a custom body. We've released a few tutorials going over this project, as well as free project files, which are fully set up for Rococo mocap, and you can download in the description. You can also find a link to the tutorial for a sitting blueprint in the description below if you want to try that configuration. In episode 11, we're going to go over how to stream this setup out to your favorite platform using OBS, and in the next episode, we'll cover the Character Creator 3 workflow for Unreal. Join us!